Hello out there, it's Cage and Coogan coming back at you with another little video. Now on this channel, as you know, we talk about all kinds of shit. And I mean all kinds of shit. Little shit we talking about today is, um, Mardi Gras. Yeah, old Mardi Gras. It's that time of year again. As, uh, most of you know that's familiar with the channel, I, I grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana, so, um, I'm very familiar with Mardi Gras. Well, one year I got a little story about Mardi Gras I want to share with you all. Well, one year, you know, Fat Tuesday, me and old buddy of mine, we, um, we're on down to the quarter. And we're on down to Bourbon, you know, and we were down there, you know, raised all kind of hell and shit, you know. Now, in New Orleans, Louisiana, there's, uh, there's no liquor law down there at all. I mean, the liquor flows like water down there. You know, uh, unlike Texas and other states, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, clubs, uh, strip joints, uh, liquor stores, and all that shit. It, it's open around the clock down there, man. I mean, uh, the liquor just flows down there, man. And uh, you can go down to a damn convenience store and buy a fifth of whiskey, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we went, we were down there. I'm raising a little hell, and um, my buddy I was with down there, I ran across this little girl down there, right? And uh, she seems to be like a good-looking little bitch, you know. And uh, so they got to talking, and uh, you know, she was hanging out with us down there, and shit. And uh, we were down there raising our little hell, and um. We were doing the show your tit thing and swing your dick thing, right? You know, all the, on you know, bourbon, you know, there's no through traffic. It's only foot traffic down there. And, uh, you know, both sides of the street, you know, there's balconies up there, you know, with the, you know, apartments up there. And on um, one balcony is filled with chicks up there, right? The other balcony is filled with dudes. You know, and all the dudes, you know, they're under the balcony, you know, where all the chicks were, and all the, you know, chicks under the balcony were all the dudes, right? And we were doing the show your tit thing and swing your dick thing, right? You know, all the guys would go down the balcony with the bitches and uh, point at a bitch and uh, start yelling out, start chanting down there, you know, show your tits, show your tits, show your tits, and this bitch will pull her tits out, so shake it up, motherfuckers, and then all the girls uh, point to a guy, and start yelling, you know, swing your dick, swing your dick, swing your dick, and he'll pull his dick out and swing that motherfucker, right? Yeah, it gets crazy down there. But this little girl, my buddy picked up, you know, to me something didn't seem right with her, you know. And, and I, I pulled him to the side and I said, hey man, I don't know if I'll fuck with that bitch. To me, something just don't seem right with her. And he goes, oh man, you just lost your goddamn mind. You just had, you just too goddamn drunk, man. That bitch is fine, man. I won't bring that bitch home fuck the shit out of her. And I said, man, I hear you, brother, but I don't know, to me, just something wasn't right. So we went along our, our little business, you know, raised our little hell and shit. And um, late that night, I guess he brought this little bitch home with him. And um, later, late that night, I get a phone call from this old boy. And he called me up and said, God damn, you were right. And I said, right about what? And he said, I brought that bitch home to the house. Got that bitch undressed. 
and she was packing a bigger dick than I got. Than I got. And I said, I told you that shit. I told you something wasn't right with that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That was a fucking dude. You hear me? And uh, so if you ever go down there in New Orleans, you gotta be careful who you picking up down there because you may be thinking you picking up a little bitch, but actually you picking up a fucking dude. You hear me? And so he said he just beat the fuck out that motherfucker, threw it out the goddamn house and shit, and um. Yeah, he done picked up a it. So you gotta be careful down there. So uh, if you ever go to New Orleans, ever go to Bourbon Street, be careful who you picking up because you think you picking up a bitch, she just might be swinging a dick. So uh, hit me up on the comments below and uh, let me know if y'all ever been down in New Orleans been the Mardi Gras, what kind of experiences you had, but um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, that like button and subscribe, and I'll love that, I just never expect my Mardi Gras, my nipples in the law, when I had nipples, I had my nipples, I never wore a look to my girl, baby, I was, Hey, I'm just gonna sleep. 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 I'm just gonna s